I, I'm not even, I don't think I've ever had anything on the air quite like this. So we all know basketball was invented by James Naismith. And he was, a, you know, he was at the University of Kansas. So the, the, the home of basketball is James Naismith, University of Kansas. So a Kansas professor, this is remarkable. It's so funny how this sounds. Even the way people spoke, this interview was done in 1939. And a Kansas professor, it's all over the internet this morning, has found a recording of the man who invented basketball. This is now, this is like 90 years old. Now, what he's describing is something that happened even 40 years earlier. James Naismith, this is remarkable, is explaining the first time basketball was attempted in a gym. And that was in 1891. So James Naismith was there in 1891. He was inventing a sport. And so then 45 years later, he does an interview with somebody. The tape was just found, just found by a Kansas professor. So it's about 50 seconds. He is describing the first basketball game, and it wasn't really a game. It was an attempt at a game, and they had no rules yet. Listen to this. I blew a whistle, and the first game of basketball began. And uh, what rules did you have for your new game, Dr. Naismith? Well, I didn't have enough, and that's where I made my big mistake. The boys began tackling, kicking and punching in the clinches. They ended up in a free-for-all in the middle of the gym floor. Before I could pull them apart, one boy was knocked out, several of them had black eyes, and one had a dislocated shoulder. It certainly was murder. <laughs> well, after that first match, I was afraid they'd kill each other, but they kept nagging me to let them play again. So I made up some more rules. The most important one was that there should be no running with the ball. That stopped tackling and slugging. We tried out the game with those rules, and we didn't have one casualty. We had a fine, clean sport. <laughs> is that amazing? We had that he is describing in the history of basketball the first time in 1891 in a gym in Kansas they attempted it. Forty years later, he does that interview you just heard. And a guy in a professor at the university has found it. That is, that is unbelievable. It is incredible. And what was really weird is the guy was a little bit of a visionary. We found a second tape by Dr. James Naismith. If one of your players is a veteran who won titles and now refuses to retire, you must look him in the eye and say, Kobe, it's becoming embarrassing. That is remarkable, too, to me. I mean, the guy had, uh, I mean, he could see into the future. James Naismith.